everybody, the next thing we're going to learn about is the balance of payments. And the definition of this is a record of all financial dealings over a period of time between one country and all other countries. So it's about payments, money moving between one country and other countries in the world, these financial dealings. And the balance of payments itself is divided into different accounts. And the one that we need to look at mainly in theme two is called the current account. And there are two other accounts that we will be looking at, one of them particularly, when we get into theme four. These are the financial account and the capital account. But for the moment, we don't need to think about these two. There's also a balancing account. And in practice, these two, it's a bit like having a scales, they must balance. So these two on this side have to be the same as this. And the current account is looking at mainly exports and imports. And it's also looking at income from abroad, investment income from abroad. And a way of remembering this is by dip. So it's exports, imports and dip. And dip stands for dividends, interest and profit. And these are small amounts of money that can come in from abroad, if you think of it like that. Whereas these are perhaps bigger amounts of money. So an export is something that you make in your country and you sell it to another country. So it exits your country. You export it. So if we make some beer in the UK and we sell it to France, this is an export. And if we're talking about beer, beer is a good it's something that you can touch, it's tangible. And we're selling it to France, so it's an export. And when we sell it to France, in return for selling the product, we're going to get money. So money is going to come to us. And in France, they might sell us some wine. So they sell us some wine. And for us, the wine is an import. It's incoming. So it's an import. And we must give the French money for the wine. We have to pay them in their currency, which is euros. So the key thing to think about with exports and imports is that a product, either a good, which is tangible, something you can touch, is going out as an export and money comes in or we have something which comes in as an import and money leaves so always there's a product going in one direction and there is money going in the other direction this isn't just about goods it can also be about a service a service is a product which is intangible that means you can't touch it so an example would be banking services. So if you get a loan and you have to pay for the loan, or if you're getting financial advice, or if you're paying for education, that would be a service. You can't touch that. It's intangible. If you are buying a hotel stay, that would also be a service. So we're talking about goods and services leaving a country and coming into a country. Exports go out, imports come in, and the money flows in the opposite direction. So when you're looking at the current account, you're looking at the value of all of the things that you export, and you're looking at how much you pay out for all of the imports that come in. And also on the current account, you're looking at money that's coming into or leaving your country because of these three things. 
A dividend is where you own shares and you receive a percentage of the profits of the company in which you own shares in. We're going to learn more about this later on, so don't worry too much about this now. And the key about the current account really is this, the exports and the imports. But just to touch on this, so dividends is where you own some shares in a company and you receive a percentage of the profits. That's called a dividend. Interest is where you have savings in a bank and you earn interest on your savings. Profit is where you have a business and your business makes a profit. And that money in any of these cases, if this money is coming into the UK, that would be positive for our current account. If this money was leaving the UK, it would be negative for our current account. And overall, you want to look on the current account at how much money is coming in and how much money is going out. And these three, by the way, we call this investment income overall. So then overall, when you're looking at your current account, you're seeing how much money is coming in and how much money is leaving. And in really simple terms, if we put this aside, the investment income, and we're just looking at exports and imports, if the value of all of your exports is greater than the value of your imports, this means that we have a trade surplus. This is because more money is coming in than money is going out. So we have a trade surplus. Or we can say that we have a current account surplus. This means the same thing. And that's if the value of your exports is greater than the value of your imports. On the other hand, if the value of your exports is less than the value of your imports, we say that we have a trade deficit, or you could call it a current account deficit. And this means that more money is flowing out for your imports than is flowing in for your exports. Because when we have an import, money flows out. And when we export something to another country, money flows in. So when you're talking about the current account, you can see whether you have a surplus or a deficit by looking at the value of your exports and imports. And the final thing to say here is the value of your exports or imports is just calculated by the price you sell them at multiplied by the quantity. So really it's like the revenue that you're getting from your exports or imports. So the key things to remember here are the definition of the balance of payments. You need to know what an export is and what an import is. You need to have an awareness of what the investment income might be coming in or leaving on the current account. And then you can work out whether you have a trade surplus or current account surplus, they mean the same thing, or whether you have a trade deficit or a current account deficit. And this is how you work out what the value of your exports or imports is.